At midlife, I met my devils. Much of what I had counted as blessings became curse. The wide road narrowed, the light grew dark, and in the darkness, the saint in me, so well nurtured and well groomed, met the sinner, said Dr. Carolyn Hunter. This thing of darkness, I acknowledge mine, said the great Shakespeare. Everything with substance has a darkness. The ego stands to the darkness as a light to shade. This is the quality that makes us human. Much as we would like to deny it, we are imperfect. And perhaps it is in what we don't accept about ourselves, our aggression, shame, guilt and pain, that we discover our humanity. The darkness goes by many familiar names. The disowned self, the lower self, the dark twin or brother in religions and myth, the double, repressed self, alter ego, id, and the nafs al-ammara. When we come face to face with our darker side, we use metaphors to describe these encounters. Meeting our demons, wrestling with the devil, descent to the underworld, dark night of the soul, midlife crisis, etc. This course offers an exploration of the dark side or other aspect of our personality. What it is, how it originates, how it is formed, and how it can be used to bring individuation. Learners will also explore how the darker side of the human being, when acting as a projection of the collective, can lead to societal decay, violence, racism, sectarianism, injustice and war. Using a wide range of subjects such as history, literature, myth, psychology, philosophy, religion and societal studies in general, Learners will complete the course with a total understanding of the darker side of the self, its relation to society and the practical steps to begin integrating the darkness into the light. A rejuvenated and healthy civil society depends on it.